peace, love, and blessings from me to each and every one of y'all there. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today for this workout. Today we're going to be focusing on the legs and the glutes and we're really going to bring the fire uh, in two circuits. We've got two circuits this time where we're going to be working for 35 seconds. However, our rest period has reduced to five seconds between each exercise. Okay, so we're working for 35 seconds, resting for five seconds in each circuit. There are 10 moves and I'm going to repeat those 10 moves twice. All right, so about 30 minutes to get this in. Uh, for the workout, we're gonna need a nice soft surface. I've got my yoga mat right here. You're gonna need some water. Put your music on, uh, whatever kind of music it is that you like that helps you to get moving. And we're gonna get started with our warm up in 10 seconds. So put that big smile on your face. It's been a while since you've been on camera, but nonetheless, it's, the workout stays the same. Stay loose, let's start with jogging on the spot. Very lightly, that's it. Keep your body loose. Just stay light on the feet. Just get that blood flowing, heart rate up. Get the mind ready for working. Get the legs ready for working. That's mainly what we're gonna be hitting. All right, so next we're coming into butt kickers. All right, ready, three, two, one. All right, let's go. So keep your knees down, stay nice and tall. You're driving the heels up. If you guys need to modify, feel free just to march on the squat, just like this, so that you two can stay active, all right? So completely relaxed. Use that breath, big breath in through your nose, out through the mouth, get them arms involved. Next move we're coming into is jumping jacks. So, kind of last really relax your shoulders, open up that chest. Take a jump over to the side. Modification here, you step and tap, and step and tap, that's it. So it's always about these four movements, and we repeat them three times. All right, next one, twist arms. Elbows high, relax your shoulders, and twist those hips from side to side. Working that spine, getting it loose, getting it ready. Always remember, guys, it's super, duper, duper important to warm up before you get moving, all right? We're getting the joints ready. All right, so we're heading right back to the top. This time, the knees are coming up just a little bit higher than we did the first time, all right? Stay tall, relax the body, use your arms. Five seconds, four, three, up next, butt kickers. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Drop your knees, bring your heels up. Let's give you that side view. Help you stay strong and breathe through. Next, jumping jacks. Ready, three, two, one, let's get it. Just a little bit more this time. Taking that intensity up. So I'll play, I'll play a metric workouts. That's it, get that heart rate up. I hope you guys have been active, even though you haven't been on the channel for a couple of weeks. Ready, twist hops, side to side. Hope you're still being staying active, keeping our body in check, eating healthy, doing all the good things to ensure that you live a healthy life. All right, we got one more round of this. Remember, this is only the warm up. We haven't actually started the workout yet, so we're heading back to high knees. This time we bring the knees all the way up, knee and line with the hip. That's it. We sprint it down that track. Find that spot, focus on it, use them arms, engage the abs and breathe. That's it. Now we're still light on your feet. Take that modification if you need it. Just march on the spot, bring your knees up. Whatever you do, you keep doing. Ready? Butt kickers. Knees are down, heels are up. Pump the marks. Bring the fist up to the shoulders. Bring the heel up to the bum. Abs are tight. And breathe. It's been really raining here in Singapore. Almost every day it's just been raining. Be hard to get out here to do some work. Also, take an advantage today. Ready, jumping jacks. Let's go. Keep your arms wide. Stay wide on the feet. Don't worry, we've got one more move before we get to the meat and potatoes of today the legs. All right, you ready? Twist hoppers coming up in three, two, one. That's it. Good 
this stuff. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Take it all the way through it. You stay relaxed. Four seconds. Three. Two. One. All right, good work. Now, if you need to, you hit pause right here. Go take a sip of water. Come right back. We can get started with a really light stretch, opening up the body. So we're gonna inhale, reaching up, exhale. Forward fold. So we're gonna touch our toes. If you can't touch your toes, that's fine. Just bend the knees, place the chest on the thighs, and inhale, tuck your chin, roll that spine up. Inhale, reaching up above, exhale. Forward fold. Touch those toes one more time. All right, bringing it all the way up. So since we're working legs, guys, we're gonna really get them legs nice and loose. So what we're going to do is to take that left leg and open up the knee to the side, all right? That's it. Stay stable. Now, use a chair or something to help you balance here. So you're gonna do five outward and five in. You're bringing that knee over. Releasing that hip joint, the groin. That's it, three, four, five. Let's take it to the other side. So we're going externally first. Really feel that range of motion. And breathe. Five. All right. Let's take it over. That's it. One. Two. Three. Four. All right. Good stuff. Give it a shake out. Now, this one, what we're going to do is we're going to stay just as we are. We're heading forward to touch our toes. As you can see, I am touching your feet are just wider than your hips. And what you're going to do is you're going to drop your bum down. I want to stay here into a stooping position, all right? So keep your hips down, stay nice and tall with your chest, and then exhale, extend the legs again into the hamstrings. So as you can see, I'm just slightly moving my toes outward every time I drop my hips down, okay? Got it? Bring my toes in, when I come up, exhale, drop my hips down, open my toes up. Now you create as much space as you need to make it possible for you to complete the movement, all right? We all got different bodies. You find what works for you, and you work it. All right. Good stuff. We're gonna drop the hips one more time. Beautiful. All right. Coming up to standing. This time we're gonna release the inner thigh. So we're gonna take that right leg really wide. Take the toes off the left foot. Point them upward. Keep that leg nice and straight. And shift the body weight over towards the knee that's bent. Pressing into the outer edge of the straight leg. That's it, and switch. Right leg is straight, left knee is bent. You stay tall here, don't hunch over into this one. And switch, let's go two more times. Really open up that inner thigh. All right, final one. Beautiful, we're coming up to stand. And just heel toe those feet back into center. We're gonna reach back, grab the instep, bring the heel to bum, knees together. Press that left hip forward toward me. Oh yeah, big stretch for the quads. I'm gonna work on quads today. Let's switch it out to the other side. Make sure you keep your water near throughout this entire workout, guys. And as always, you go, uh, do what you can do, okay? Do what you can do. I'm not saying take it easy on yourself, but you do what you can do. Just make it into the ankles. Some circles with the ankles. And switch. Almost feels strange being back here again on camera. Change direction. All right, give that body a shake out. We can get started with circuit All right, number one. Good stuff, we're back. Circuit number one, we've got 10 movements. Remember, we're gonna be working for 35 seconds. There's a period of five seconds rest between each move, and then we repeat. Uh, those 10 movements again. All right, so first move up, we've got traveling knees. Remember travelers, side to side, touch, touch. We're gonna do four of those, and then come back to the side and hit it for 10 high knees, and repeat that movement, all right? So, stay strong, get that music on, stay motivated. When you get to do the best that you can do, if you need to take short, longer breaks, you do that, but whatever you do, make it happen, all right? Ready for four, four travelers, 10 high knees. Let's go. You're light on the feet, keep that chest up, Three, four, ten high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's go. It's almost like you're clicking your heels together. Two, three, four, knees. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get it. Two, three. Sit back into the 
travel legs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds to go. That's it. Next move up, we've got squat kicks. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, relax. Squat kicks. Very simple. Down into that squat, strong squat. Bring it up, boom, and kick. That's it. And kick. So I want to see under your shoe. Remember with the squat, you're sitting back and down. You're keeping that chest up. The weight is in your heels. And breathe. Keep the abs tight throughout the entire movement to protect that lower back. Get that leg up, come on. And strike, boom. That's it, 10 seconds. Next up, we've got static lunges. Remember, it's really quick transitions. Let's get one more. All right, good stuff. Gonna take that left leg forward, right leg forward. Stay nice and tall. Tuck your tailbone under and drop that knee. All 35 seconds, we stay on this leg. That's it. Now, how do you set the lunge up? Remember, knee and ankle always in alignment. You want to stay tall. Keep the back foot, the toes of the back foot. You want it to be facing front, not out to the side, not too far inside, but straight ahead. That's it, 10 seconds, keep dropping. Next up, we've got fast feet. It's a bit of cardio in there. Let's get one more. Fast feet on this spot, really tiny movements, abs are tight, ready? Let's go as fast as you can. Come on, make some noise, that's it. I hope you guys not living above somebody on the wooden floor. <laughs> that's it, as fast as you can, get the knees moving. Use your abs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ten seconds. Keep working the legs, guys. Come on, we can do this. Five seconds, four, three. Up next, we've got launch lunge. Two, one, relax. All right, for the launch lunge, what are you gonna do? You're gonna take that right leg forward, down for two lunges, just like this. One, two, and then we power up. Bring that knee up into the air. All right, one, two, and drive that knee up. If you want more, you just add a hop. All right, so it's all stability. Make sure you move from a stable place and don't just go for speed. That's it, one, two, drive. Up straight, two, one. So with the next movement, you're gonna need that yoga mat, okay? So get your mat close and relax. Now this is called the kneel up. Kneel up, you're gonna start kneeling. <laughs> Come up into standing and take it all the way back down. All right, keep your abs tight here, guys. Whoa. On halfway, we're gonna switch the leg that comes forward first. So my left leg is moving first right now. On the next round, ready? Let's change legs. Now I'm gonna move with my right leg first. There we go. Boom, right leg. That's it, 10 seconds. Really basic movements. Next movement up. Now, where is this? Ready? All right, get that one out of the way. Find something to stabilize you. You're coming onto the tippy toes and drop that heel back down. Very simple, right? Up as high as you can. Kill that momentum. You don't want to be springing all out of control. This entire movement is controlled, all right? As soon as your heels touch down, you bring them right back up. Try to get onto your big toes. That's it. And reach. Breathe. And reach. How are you doing so far? We almost, almost to the end of the first round. <laughs> Ready? Four seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. All right, what's next? We've got squat pops. So we're going to go down for two pulses in a squat and pop back up. So one, two, boom. Now, if the jump is too much for you, you keep going. You just stay low and pulse, okay? That's the modification. You stay low and pulse, or the full pop squat. One, two pulses, propel off your legs, jumping up into the sky. That's it. Keep reaching. Two strong pulses. Keep that weight back in the heels. Keep that chest up. One, two. Let's get one more. All right, next movement, the sponges. It's a squat with the lunge, okay? So you're gonna squat down, 
Step back into the lunge. Squat into the lunge. That's it. Squat and lunge. Now, no speed here, all right? Want to focus on that form. Technique is super important, more so than going, going fast, all right? It's not about how many you can get done. It's all about that quality over quantity. Five seconds. All right, relax. Up next, we've got the lateral leg raise, all right? Find a stable surface, prop up against it. Flex your toes on our left leg. We're taking our leg all the way up and out. There we go. Working the outside of the leg here. Part of the glute. That's it. Keep reaching. From here, guys, we're right back to the beginning with those traveling knees. Keep those toes flexed. Keep lifting our leg. Oh, yeah. Feel the burn yet? Glutes on fire. I can feel my glutes on fire. Keep reaching. All right, so we're back to the top. We've got four travelers, 10 high knees. Let's get it. One, two, three, four. You should be familiar with the names of the movement now. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Four for 10. One, two, three. Light on the feet. Four, up. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, up. Four. Let me see you do all you can do. Eight, nine, 10. Up, one, two, three, four, and up. Keep working. We've got squat kicks next. All right, ready? Down to that squat. Up, give it that kick. Let's get it. Down, and kick, and kick. Yes. You want to get that knee up, and then extend. Knee, and then extend from uh, the knee downward, okay? the hip and then extend the knee take it down guys get as low as you can into that squat you got it wow let's get one more all right got the lunges so left leg forward this thing ready full range of motion as low down as you can remember if you need more break you take that break Legs are burning. Ooh, ooh. 20 seconds. One, two, three. Back in. Stay tall. We're almost to the end. Ah. 10 seconds. Ah. So guys, four, three, two. Let's get one more. Oh. All right, fast feet. Ready? Abs tight. Let's move our feet. <laughs> feet are like the ladder right now. Super heavy. That's it. Come on. You can take it all the way to the end. 15 seconds. Wow. Definitely feeling the burn already. Got double heat over here. Humidity in Singapore and the heat from this workout. Uh, Keep it going. Feet are failing. Oh, come on. Woo! All right, we into the launch lunge. Ready? Remember the option here. Two lunges, and then bring the knee up. If you want more, you add that hop. Oh, yeah. Keep that lunge strong. Oh, drive the knee up. Keep it abs tight. Use the opposite arm. It should be the right arm for stability. Make sure you can clearly see the difference between each lunge. One. All right, we got the knee locks. Let's get that soft surface. Ready? All right, let's go. Find that balance. Up to standing. Remember, we're gonna switch knees on halfway. Use your arms for balance. Keep your abs tight. Wow, press off that heel that you put forward first. Let's do one more and switch. Ready? All right, switch legs. So we're coming up on the opposite leg this time. 
That's my right leg. Wow. That's it. Press it up. Let's get one more. All right, into calf raises, guys. Ready? Get that stable surface if you need it. If not, challenge your balance. We're not holding on to anything. You're gonna up onto that tippy toe. Up as high as you can. Squeeze them calves. Kill the momentum, all right? That Achilles tendon is made to hold tension. That's where you get that spring from in your jump. So we don't want none of that uh, springiness here. We just want to kill all of that and use the muscles to lift us as opposed to the momentum. That's it. All right, good stuff. Here we are, squat pops. Two pulses and propel upward. Remember, modification, you just stay low and pulse. Keep that chest up. Jump as high as you can. Remember, you're light on the feet. You're light when you're landing. Keep those knees soft and the abs tight to protect the lower back. Come on, let's fight for it all the way to the end. Almost to the end of this first circuit. That's it. Final 10 seconds. Get low. Challenge you. Take it a little bit lower. Ah. Oh, yeah. All right. What's next? We've got sponges. Let's give you a side profile this time. Down into that squat, back into the lunge. Again, no speed, all form. Stay strong throughout your movement. Ah, this is how you get your legs and your glutes, guys. What? 10 seconds. Reach that leg back. Five, four, three, two. All right, we've got the leg raises on the right side this time. So stabilize, lift that leg up. Remember, flex your toes toward you and lead with the heel. Lift it up as high as you can. Try not to lean too much, you see? This happening a lot sometimes. No, you want to cancel that and only work by using or activating the leg muscles, all right? That's it. You got just about 10 seconds. That's it, keep lifting all the way up. Wow. Four seconds all the way to the end. Three, two. Okay, right, it's good work. It's the end of circuit number one. Quick pause here and break for some water. We're coming back for circuit number two. All right, beautiful guys. That was a really short break. Keeping that intensity on, we're back for circuit number two. It's the same format as last time. This time we're gonna really work on that isometric, isometric strength. That simply means we're gonna be doing a lot of holding. All right, so once you're ready, we're gonna get started with a wall sit. So make sure you got a wall near to you. If there's no wall, you just feel free to just hold the squat position, okay? Again, 35 seconds on, 5 seconds off. Ready? Find the wall, press that lower back into the wall. We're gonna align the knees and the hips, the knees and the ankle. You ready? All right, let's go. Press that lower back into the wall, relax and breathe. Take the arms off the legs. You can clap if you want, you can snap, you can send a text, you can do anything. Just don't put them hands on the legs. Let the legs bear their weight. Make sure that lower back is in the wall. Make sure you got your alignment on point. And just make sure you're feeling the burn. <laughs> That's it, man. Breathe it out. Maybe about 10 seconds to go, I'm guessing. No, it's 10 seconds. There we go. Relax, breathe. From here, we're coming into a lunge hold, all right? We're gonna take that right leg forward into a nice, solid lunge. And stay there, ready? So right leg is forward, all right? I'm gonna tuck your hips under, face that back leg forward, and dip it down into the lunge. What happens with this knee? Do you guys remember what happens with the knee? It's never what? It's never in front of the toes. It's always behind the toes. I like to use the ankle as my landmark. Tap them hips under. Just stay here and relax. Get as low as it's comfortable for you. As much as our body allows you to. Building that strength. From here, guys, we're going into the other side. That's 10 seconds. Keep that back leg engaged. Five to go. Four, three, all right, you ready? See that smooth transition? All right, left leg forward, knee behind the toes. You're gonna dip that right leg down. Stay nice and tall, the same thing applies here. 
about like this, watch. Slightly back, the knees are behind the toes, and the back foot is straight. It's not here, nor is it twisted inside, okay? Stay tall, we've got 15 seconds. That's it, breathe. Wow, five seconds, four, three, two, you guys ready? We've got a squat to burpee. All right, so I'm gonna give the modification first. If you guys are familiar, you go ahead and do movement. All right, squat down, stretch up. You're gonna step back into plank and step back in. Stand up, squat, up, step back. You guys got it? That's the modification. You use that one if you need to. If not, you could join me for the full movement. Add in that burpee, stand up tall. Back into the squat. Then I'm gonna add minus to a squat jump. So squat jump. Pulling right into that burpee. That's it. And stand up. Keep working. We've got three seconds. All right. Now we're coming to that leg raise again. So we're gonna start on the left side. Stabilize. We're gonna lift that leg up and stay there. That's it. Flex your toes. Keep that leg up. Wow. And breathe. I'm gonna stay tall. All right, you ready for some pulses? Let's pulse. Really tiny movements. Oh, keep that leg up. 10 seconds to go. Keep it flat, guys. You should be feeling it in the bum on the outside of the leg. Even in the other leg that's stabilizing you. All right, good stuff. Here we are, we are traveling knees. So four travelers, one more time. 10 high knees. One, two, three. Four, and up. That's it. One, two, three, four, and up. Come on guys, stay light on your feet. Always keep that chest up and give them 10 high knees all you got. From here guys, we got sumo squat pulses. Four, let's get 10. All right, sumo squat pulses. It's a very wide squat. Bring your legs really wide. Turn the toes outward. Tuck your hips under. And make sure that your knees as you squat down follow the line of the toes, all right? This really puts it onto the inner thighs. Not so much the glutes. The glutes are working, yeah, but it's more so the inner thighs, the quads. As low as you can. That's it. Drop that tailbone down. We've got two more moves. We're coming down onto the mat next. Inner thigh raises. So get your mat handy, ready. All right, so we're down flat. That's it. We're gonna extend the right leg, bend the left knee, and we're starting with inner thigh raises. Now, you wanna flex your feet, so the toes are toward you, and leap with that heel as you lift it up. When you lift that leg, I really want you to focus on lifting your ankle much higher than that knee that's bent. All right, keep your toes flat. Really feel on the inner thighs. That's what we're working here. You got it. From here, we're staying on the mat. We've got another move. Oh, keep lifting. I'm gonna call it the fire hydrant. All right. So now we're coming to all fours on our knees. We're gonna start on the left side. In all fours. That's it. And lift that knee up as high as you can. Focus on not allowing that right hip to drop down, okay? Up as high as you can. Really squeezing. Working the rotators of the hip. Smaller hip muscles, glute muscles. Some abs are working here. Ah, uh, yeah. From here, guys, we're back to the top of that wall. So keep lifting that leg up, up as high as you can. Keep your knee in line with me. Ankle. One more. All right, we're up to standing. We're back into that wall sit. Ready? Isn't it crazy how fast that first round just went? I felt like it was just like boom, boom, boom. What? Knee, hip, knee, ankle, all in alignment. All the joints protecting each other. We're relaxing here. We're back in the wall. Having a nice conversation about life. Because the muscles are on fire. That's it. Breathe. Keep working them in the face. Just slightly in together. That's it. 
can breathe. Make sure you incorporate these kind of holds, guys, into your training. Planks are another example of this. Just holding a bicep curl at the top of the movement. All right, ready? Lock that right lunge first. Right leg forward, drop that knee. Get as low as you can. Good challenge, but take it just a little bit lower this time. Stay centered. Back foot pointing forward. That's it. Tuck your hips under. Relax and breathe. Got just about 10 seconds to go. That's the buzzer. 10 seconds. Stay tall from here. We're going to transition over to the left. Take it lower, guys. Just a little bit lower. Challenging. Bring it down. Wow. All right. Over to the left side. Left leg forward. Right foot facing forward. Drop that right knee. These are really burning. Really, really burning. Twenty seconds. I said, take it down. You got it. Fifteen seconds left. Ah, let's go a little lower. Ooh, can you see my leg shaking? Mm. Five seconds. Four, three. We got squat to burpee next. Two. All right, ready. If you want, you can join me with that squat jump into the burpee. If not, you do just squat to burpee. Remember to separate the two movements to keep your mechanics strong. With mechanics, I mean, make sure when you jump back into that burpee, it's a nice strong plank. When you squat down, keep the weight in your heels, keep that chest up. Wow. Seconds. We've got that lateral we'll raise hold. Alright, this time we're on the left side. I hope this is the side that I didn't do last time. No, I did that side last time. Right side. That's it. Flex some toes. Lift that leg up as high as you can. You may feel like a thousand pounds right now. <laughs> but let's keep it up. 20 seconds. Get a little bit closer here. Ready to pulse? All right, let's pulse. Toes flex, lead with the heel. What's next, guys? Traveling knees. Three, two. All right, four for 10. Four travelers, 10 high knees. Ready? One, two, three, four, and 10. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're over. One, two, three, Four, three out. Three, four, ten. Come on, let's push it, guys. So one of the last cardio movements that we have. Let's give it all we got. Two, five, six, ten. One, two, three, four, and up. Two, five, nine, ten. One, two. All right, we're back into that wall set. Ready? Oh yeah. How are you guys doing? How's your legs feeling? Hope you're all good. Hope you're feeling that burn. Hope you're sweating. Remember, if you like these workouts, guys, continue to share them with your friends, your family, to like them. Drop some comments that have a little bit of a chat down below about your favorite exercises. That's it. I'd even like to hear from you guys what kind of workouts would you like? What kind of workouts? Ready? We're down onto sumo squats. All right, ready? Legs are wide, hips are tucked under. Remember the knees follow the direction of the toes. Wow, you know, these are ready, man. I taught a session yesterday and it was legs. So we're kind of suffering from that still, but nonetheless, get this video out there for you guys. Give you something to keep you moving as well, even if it means that I suffer. Oh, well recording it. Getting stronger in the minute, right? Oh, take it down. We're coming to the mat next, guys, for those inner thigh raises. All right, good stuff. Ready? You're down flat. Right knee is bent. Left leg extends. Lead with the heel. Remember, heel comes up higher than what? 
that that knee that's bent. All right, keep your toes flexed and keep lifting. You need to really feel it on the end of the thigh. You've got one more move to go after this one. That's it, keep reaching guys. I want you to go higher, challenge yourself. Yeah. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. You can do it. Fight with it with me, because I'm fighting. Sure as heck you're fighting too, right? All right, good stuff. We're down on the knees. We've got that fire hydrant on the right side. So lock in that left hip. Raise the right hip up as high as you can without dropping the left hip. Remember, work the full range of motion. Stay strong in that plank. Wow. The glutes are on fire. The glutes are complaining. Tomorrow they're gonna complain even more. It's all in a day's work. Let's keep lifting, guys. Final 10 seconds. Get our range of motion going. Come on, three seconds. Hey, what did we miss? What did we miss? We did everything. Didn't we? Alright, let's do high knees just because. <laughs> Ten seconds. Take it home. Four, three, two, one. All right, guys, good work. It's the end of both circuits. We got a really good stretch here. So make a pause, take a sit. When we come back, we'll take a right, sit. Guys, let's have a stretch. Stretch, stretch that workout out. Uh, let's come all the way down onto your mat. We're gonna start by doing, we're gonna come into that all four position, just like we did. We're gonna bring the right leg forward into that lunge. Remember knee and ankle alignment, shift your body weight forward. Feel that stretch in the right, in the left hip. That's it, keep your body weight shifting forward. Relax and breathe, bringing the heart rate down. Just as important as, uh, as the warm up is, is the cool up, uh, the warm, down is just as important as the warm up. I'm gonna recline towards the heel. Now, keep my knee under my hip, keep that leg extended, relax the toes, and bring the chest towards your thighs, all right? Completely relax here, we're stretching the back of the thigh out. If you want more, you can walk your fingertips forward and enjoy that stretch. All right, good stuff. Let's take it over to the other side. So, left leg, let's bring that left leg forward into the lunge, both arms are on the inside, your body weight is shifting, we are forward as always. Keep that stretch on the right hip flexor, even on the outside of that left leg, you may be feeling a bit of a stretch. You guys with more flexibility, you can feel free to head on down to your forearms for a deeper stretch. All right, let's take it backwards, so reclining towards the heel, extend the left leg outward just as mine is, relax those toes. Walk your fingertips forward, bring the chest to the thighs. You can feel the stretch under the legs. All right, good stuff. We're coming into the inner thigh, so take that left leg up. Good stuff. We're gonna come to seated. What I want you to do here is to put your feet together. Feel free to kick your shoes off and stretch if you want. So, we're gonna work on getting these knees downward. All right, so tuck your heels as far in as you can. Use your finger, your forearms, shifting the body weight forward to help you apply some pressure to those knees. And relax the inner thighs, guys. You don't want to keep any tension in the muscle while you stretch it. Just relax it, let gravity do its work. All right, beautiful, good. We're coming into glute stretch. We're gonna stretch the glutes out. So we're gonna take that left leg, keep it straight. We're gonna bring the hands behind for support. The right ankle comes above that left knee. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna step that left leg in towards the body. Or you can lift your bum in towards uh, the leg. So I like to align my knee and shoulder. That really gives me a good stretch as you keep working that knee forward. Amazing. Relax, let's take it over to the other side. So left ankle above right knee. Bring both legs in, make your necessary adjustments by bringing the leg in towards the chest or lift the bum up and take your chest to the leg. 
I said, align knee and ankle with both shoulders. Relax that hip. Good stuff. Let's stretch the quads out. So we're gonna come up to standing here. Reach back. I'm gonna grab the instep like we did in the beginning. Bringing both knees together, keeping them down and back. Pressing that hip forward. Oh yeah. Let's take it to the other side. Really beautiful workout, guys. We're back on it again. I'm gonna try to bring you guys a video at least every three days a week, so long as time permits it and weather. Again, thanks so much for working out with me. If you guys really enjoyed this video, click like, subscribe to the channel so you stay on top of all the updates. We've got a vlog coming out from our trip to Sri Lanka really soon. Other than that, guys, continue to share that love and that inspiration with those who you're coming to contact with. Just get up, get up, and you get moving. Peace.